Heavy hitter DJ Quiz, uh, that's enough.com. Um, it's a beautiful day in New York City. I'm here with my homie, G Easy. Um, like I said, I like, you know, he's, he's a star to me. And that's many people know who he is according to what he's saying. But I think when you do a show and you're already selling out venues, you're a star by now, man. You're a star way before, man. So, I mean, it's like, it's always a balance, you know? Because. <laughs> In the, in the grand scheme of things, you know, mm -hmm. the big picture, and that's how I always try to think. You know, the game has changed now. It's like the barriers of entry have been knocked down. It's, it's, it's more accessible, you know. It, you have more people creating and making music and being involved, mm -hmm. but, you know, it can be misleading. It's like, yo, it, you know, some people commented on my SoundCloud page and I uploaded a song and they, you know, they told me it's hot. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm the hottest thing out, <laughs> you know, but it's important to, you know, like remember like big picture like right. there's always a bigger fish there's always a you know and that's right. how even as this stuff starts to get crazy and grow and the you know the tours are doing you know what i mean and and the, like we music is taking me so many places it hasn't been taking me around the world yet you know and 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 even if you know even if that's coming it's important to always keep in mind right you know the just staying hungry and just you know knowing that there's always another step, and there's always, and no matter how big you get, there's always a Jay-Z. Sure. At the end of the day, there's always a Jay-Z, hey. and, and you gotta just, you know, stay hungry and just continue to strive to be great and, and, and to be the biggest. What was the craziest thing that happened on tour so far? I mean, that, that went down. Um, I kind of feel like I gotta mention what happened a week ago. Uh -huh. Even though it wasn't on that tour, I kind of feel like I've been on a non-stop tour for the last whatever. Yeah. It was me and Kid Cudi in the Bay, right. and it was uh, it was like 9,000 people sold out. Mm -hmm. And it was the day before my birthday, so we're partying that night. Mm -hmm. But E-40 calls me that morning, and we're talking shit, and I'm like, yo, you got to come out at the show tonight. And he's like, <laughs> man, it's Memorial Day weekend, player. I can't do that. I got the family. I got a barbecue. Oh. I'm chilling. I'm taking it easy, you know? And I'm like, well, if you get a change of heart, let me know. He calls back about an hour later. He said, yeah, I'm going to fuck with you. I'm gonna, have my, I'm gonna have my people talk to your people. I'm gonna come through, I'm gonna fuck with you. And then he came through and blessed me and he came on stage for Fall Alone, right. did that record, and then uh, and then he dropped Tell Me When To Go and the place just went nuts. Went nuts right? And it was just like a, you know, it was a moment for me growing up in the Bay, obviously, and then getting to share a stage with him and bringing him out at the show. Right. It was wild. Sharing a stage with one of the legends from your yeah. town is like, it's, it's amazing. I mean, nothing better than that, you know? It's like, that. you know. So, talk to me about this album before, we, before I let you go. Um, what is it, 500,000 downloads for, you know, it's, what are you trying, like you said, you want to try to sell a million singles? I'm going to try to sell a million first week, <laughs> man, I guess I'm an optimist. I'm just, you know, I'm on the campaign trail right now, man, mm -hmm. I'm really trying to just let the world know about this album. I mean, mm -hmm. here's the thing, they say time is money, but creative time is money in another way, too. It's like, mm -hmm. I felt like I've had this album inside of me my whole life. This is my real debut. Yes. You know, it's like, this isn't, this isn't, you know, back in the day when you had the, you know, the tape decks or some shit like this. This is like, nowadays, you're able to record all your practice years and you're developing your craft and all that. You know right. what I mean? Right. So it's like, for real, for all sorts of purposes, this should be my debut album. This should be, you know, all the years of me learning my craft mm -hmm. put into this now. You know, but it's just now we have the resources to record so much easier. Right. You know, and the internet to upload it and share it so it exists. I feel like this is the album I've always had inside of me, and I didn't spend a year and a half recording this shit for nothing. Right. So I need the world to know. It's like these things happen June 23rd. Like, I'm just excited, man. The features on the album. The features, I kept it, you know, I kept it chill. It's E40 is on the E40, album. Right. You know, anything and that for me is before? everything. And uh, uh, ASAP Ferg is on the album. Cool. Yeah, my homie Danny Seth from London. He's a problem. Yo, have you hit a DJ quiz? That's enough.com. Uh, shout out to the big no. homie DJ Enough, man. We see you. Uh, yo, ladies and gentlemen, G Easy. Cheers. Nah, thanks for having me, bro. Thank you, bro. I'll die.